Yeah. It's been a cold journey. I mean, the better life movement was something that, like, I was already planning on doing. To be honest, like, I was incarcerated. When I came up with the vision for the Better Life Movement, me and my man Real Life, which you'll hear him on the new single, um, Stop Hating, and CR the show, really. But uh, CR wasn't incarcerated with us, but me and Real Life, we was incarcerated together. And we had did this song called Cold Cool World. Cool world, or something like that, and originally real life had, had started that song. So I, uh, when it came time for me to write my verse, when I was in the cell writing, writing. We had a little squad called Lockdown Click, Low Don and Chice, LCD, LDC, excuse me, but um, LDC Lockdown Click. It was low down and Chase, man. You know me representing Reese Baltimore. Chase, he was from uh, Cherry Hill, and then you know Low Herb Town. So it's like you know we was real tight. Then we had Money Green. He was from Park Heights. You know what I mean? We had a nice little squad. Yo, everybody could rhyme and shit. Everybody was locked up for the same shit. You know, same old shit. You know, say that. You know, all all different stuff. And mine was violent crimes, theirs was more, you know, narcotics and shit, but Fair long story short, I got the right in my verse but My verse was more personal It was more so about my life So, ended up writing two verses Came up with a hook I called it Better Life and That's really where the Better Life movement really started so, started here, you know, and uh, in the beginning of the song, I start out with the Al-Fati High Arabic, you know, this is the Law of Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah, you know, the Law of Rahim, the Rahman Rahim, the Kiyam Rahim, the Yaqan Rahim, the Wa Yaqan Rahim, the Kiyam 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 and then we went to a show of singing five new money back then. It's the better life movement. Trying to make a change. Bearing my own It's real life, though. You know, now we got the better life movement in Canada. The better life in Germany. We've expanded pretty well. Pretty well. I started off like, you know, hey, yo, I was 13, going through dawn pains. So many mixed up thoughts running through my brains. Shit, I work hard like moms or sell cocaine. I was 15 when the answer finally came and was racing through my veins Shit. like blood for the love of this game. I knew that nothing would be the same. My aim was to get us out of the ghetto and change. Write lines upon lines and tell my time for fame. And tell them how to work and sell drugs to maintain. On the corner, and it down with four pounds in the rain. Hanging with the older crowd, doing my thing. I thought I had something to prove just to get a name that will haunt me. For the rest of my life, in the stress. Had me smoking mad weed every night on the streets, living trite. With visions of living right, with the money kept on clout on my sight. Couldn't see the light. All I could see was fingers sitting in the pipe. The yo, this world ain't right. So I'm searching for a better life. Y'all stay tuned, man. www.indyboom.com. The better life movement continues, man. It's like crazy because I get home. And then, you know, me and my man see all the show. I had I had originally did the song Better Life with uh, Stevie Spark. You know, Murder More Empire. Big shout out to Murder More Empire, the whole East Baltimore. And um, it was cool, but it really wasn't. I don't know. It just didn't have that soulful feeling like I wanted to have. It was a real personal song. So me and CR the show we got together and um, he produced the track. 
Um, and he sang the hook. And it was like, it came out to be a yeah. classic, right? It's been a cold journey. It just was a classic song. Look at to the point where when I did run into Capitone, he liked it, you know? And then after we did a show in South Beach, we got back to Baltimore. Like, I really had left South Beach. Like, South Beach was so wild. It's just, I don't know. I got kind of shook for real because it was just serious, man. Everything that was going on was so intense. And I wasn't prepared for it. So I came back home without them. And then they, by the time they got back to B-more, they came to my clothing store. Because uh, we both had clothing stores at the time. The cat had a clothing store up on Bel Air Road. And I had one on Dream Mount Avenue. And uh, I get that. They come to the store. And, uh, I had finished the 16th song album by the time we got back. And I put the first song that me and they got to do together called Bronco on it. But I called the album The Better Life Movement. So he was like, yo, I like the name. Still called it The Better Life Movement. I think that we should start a company out of the name. So I was like, you know, I don't really want to make it a company, you know. It's just something that I do, you know, because I was also helping about five or six little young boys from the hood. You know, I had them handing out flyers for the store, yeah. selling bottled water, and journey. teaching them the basis of economics, how to yeah. take that little money and turn it into more money without having to sell drugs. Yeah. Because that was, that's what the Better Life movement was really about. I didn't really want it to become an entity because once it became an entity, it becomes a commodity that someone want, may want to fight over or it'll cause division, you know what I mean? So, but I went along with the idea we went on and incorporated it, and, you know, in a lot of ways, I believe that the Better Life Movement, once it was incorporated, it caused a lot of division, you know? It caused a lot of unity, too, though. You know, it had a balance, but real talk, I am the Better Life Movement, you know, because that's... I'm the foundation, this is where it started, you know, anybody in my hood is definitely, because I was trying to tell you, they're like, yo, it was something that I was already doing, you know, it just happened to have caught the eye of the 10th generation, you know, big shout out to Capadonna for the opportunity of, you know, taking it to the next level, but, um, yeah, better like you, better like you,